So one of the things that I often find really frustrating with creating our packages is getting my PDFs really small. So I have like documentation and CRAN has um, constraints and there's some tools that you can use to compress your PDFs. One of them is called, it's in the tools package, it's, I think it's called compact PDF. But I create PDFs with LaTeX and sometimes they include fonts and it just like nothing seems to make them smaller. So I want to show you a tool that I found a helps. Um, so I'll take a PDF, I'll run it actually just through the online tool with Adobe and then I'll run it through this tool and usually I can get some fairly significant reductions even in PDFs that really re resist compressing. So this is a, a tool that um, I found in like Stack Overflow or something. People had talked about it and it's a Python package. So I forked this and, um, oops, let's go back here. So here, I forked it and I didn't really do anything except that um, the developer gave the code that you need to run on Linux. And I just, so you can see it's down here, but it had the dollar signs in front. So all I did is I just got rid of the dollar signs. It's literally all I did. Okay, so I forked it and then I got rid of those dollar signs so I can copy it. So now what I'm gonna do, um, so this is a Python package. I do have Python installed, but I have um, Python 3. This needs Python 2. I just don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to open up CodeSpace. And so I just clicked it here. I already have one going, so I'm going to click that one. Now, actually, I'll make a new one. Let me just show you. Let's delete this one. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It says, if you were there. So uh, CodeSpaces is free. So let's just go up. And setting it up. There we go. So really, as I said, I didn't do anything. I just forked this repository, clicked on the code spaces. And so now I'm here. And now first thing I want to do is I want to um, open a terminal. So go over to the little lines over here, terminal, and just say new terminal. So here I am, and then I am going to uh, paste this in. Let's find allow. Yeah. Oop, wrong, wrong bit of code. Let's go back here. Okay. So I just want to copy this right here. Go back to my code space. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. I am ready to go. So that's it. I'm all set up. And now what I need to do is I need to get a file up here that I want to reduce in size. So I just right clicked and I can say upload. So now I can find a file that I'd like to reduce. Let's just grab one here. I think these are already pretty reduced. I, I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this, but to show you the concept, let's go here. So now I open that. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay, so now I've got that there. And then let's go back. What's the instruction? Here's the instruction. So I need that. Earth, am I? Fine, let's 
in the room. Okay, it's just in the wrong place. Okay, EM derivation dot PDF. But you see, kind of the real thing here is video is a little longer, but okay, there so it goes. And then it tells you how much it reduced it. Like I said, I've already compressed these, so you didn't really get much. Got two percent, but. Uh, as I said, this tool can really save you, especially if you've got like PDFs that have fonts and stuff in it or hyperlinks. Those can be really hard to compress. So like definitely try Adobe uh, online free tool first, a pretty good success. And then if you still need to get it smaller, you can fork this repo, open up a code space and do what I just did.